Okay, before I start today's Ratchet Watch setup guide for swapping discs, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it helps my channel out too. So very brief and quick tutorial, I get asked this a lot, how do you swap discs with RetroArch? So let's say for example you're playing Final Fantasy, PlayStation 1, and eventually you've got to swap discs over, it's going to ask to insert disc 2. Or you could be playing an Amiga game and it's going to ask you to swap to disc 20,000. So what we're going to do is open up RetroArch and I'm going to show you how to do this, it's extremely simple to do. So what I'm going to do first then is actually open up one of my Amiga games. So game's just here and I'm going to open up the first disc for the very awesome Amiga game Lionheart. Now if I set this to run, so run. Let me just remind you, if you press spacebar on your keyboard, you can actually fast forward. Okay, so in this case, it's giving me a little floppy disk icon saying insert disk 2. So I'm going to enter into the quick menu and I'm pressing my Google Stadia button for this. If you're using an Xbox controller, use the Xbox button. If you're using PlayStation controller, use the PS button. So once we're inside a quick menu, what we're going to do is just use D-pad to go down the disk control. And from here, the first thing what I'm going to do is eject disk because we don't want this disk inserted anymore. Now next thing I'm going to do is just go down to load a new disc. Now we can see all four discs here for the game Lionheart. What I'm going to do is just go down to disc 2 and press A. I'm also going to go back to load new disc and I'm going to pop in disc 3 as well. And if you notice just here, current disc index it says 2 and then it says 3. What this is doing is keep it in store all discs. I'm going to go to load new disc again and also pop in disc 4 of 4 and as you can see current disc index now says 4 so we've got all four discs. So what I'm going to do next then with this is actually go into current disc index and select disc 2. Insert disc And there we go, we're in. So if I go to start game. And like I say, just remember if you press space bar, you can actually fast forward. So eventually the game's going to ask me to insert disc 3 or being Amiga it might ask me to insert disc 1 again. So first of all just remember to eject disc and then from your current disc index we can then select the third disc or the first disc. Now just remember that this isn't just for Amiga, this is how you swap discs on any system in RetroArch being it PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, so this is going to cover every system that RetroArch supports and again as you insert the next disc. And that's it for today's very brief RetroArch and swapping disc setup guide. So like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like and check out my playlist for RetroArch. I got lots of interesting guides in there for little things like this as well as adding a multitude of different systems customization to your RetroWatch theme. There's a lot in my RetroWatch playlist. So join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.